Welcome back by Delicate Deli Meats to Zmer. Today we're starting off the episode by going to the Zora Hall. And also, I just remember that there's been quite a few comments of people who aren't very happy with the acronym of Zmer. They think it sounds weird. I guess because it doesn't have a vowel in it like Zooter does. Zooter kind of has a flow, Zmer is just kind of more smooth. And like, as much as I would like to change it, I'm sorry I can't, Zmer? Zelda Majora's Mask Randomizer just doesn't have a vowel in the acronym, so it's just gonna have to be that way. I'm sorry that it's not as good as Zooter, but not every acronym could be a Zooter. I mean, to be fair, I don't know if any acronym is as good as Zooter. This is the largest clam I have ever seen. Mother of Pearl. Yo, God, tell me a little bit about this. Why are you just looking at my dick while you're talking to me? My eyes are up here, sir. Ah, you're Macau, right? Good luck practicing for the concert. I'm looking forward to your rehearsal. I look forward to my re- wait, what, the concert? There's a concert going on? I'm in a band? So that's why I have the guitar. Hell yeah. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do in here is we're gonna check the shop to see if there's any good items randomized into there. For some reason, the shop is like one of the areas of the Great Hall that I've been to the least. But it's really a cool room. It has like a shipwreck style to it. Definitely feels like a hole in the wall type place. Ooh, I see the couple's mask. Good thing we have a lot of rupees. Oh, we have 365 rupees. Hey, for the days of the year. You can spend one rupee a day. That is our budget. 20 rupees for the couple's mask? Uh, don't mind if I do. So all this is going to allow us to do is diffuse the tension in the mayor's office back in Clock Town. And we'll get another item for it. So it's like one of those items where it doesn't do much except for it gives you another item. 90 rupees for 20 rupees. <laughs> that is not a good deal whatsoever. And... Harpies for 60 rupees. Might as well buy it and get it over with. So we're starting our next heart container. Thank you very much. You are so welcome. What does this man have to say? Your band's popularity is amazing. We've had all kinds of people coming into the shop lately. Oh, cool. It's not the band that's amazing. It's my super defined Zora Pex. That's what all the ladies are coming to see. I know they're not coming for my legs though because my legs are literally fish sticks. Literally. <laughs> um, so there's a couple things we can do inside the Zora Hall right now, but I think I'm just going to come back to them because there's a lot of quicker and easier stuff for us to do right now, like your mom. And I would rather do those things than do like some miniature side quests, at least at this point. But look, this is our girlfriend, Ruto, who has lost her voice because she is so sad about losing her children. A sad face is trying to tell you something. You can see it in her expression. So those eggs that we just hatched back at the laboratory, they belong to her, and when she lost her eggs, she became so sad that she lost her voice. And normally, getting the eggs will teach you the song that will allow you to give her her voice back, but we got Deku Nuts instead. So instead of getting your voice back in a beautiful song, you just get a nut. <laughs> Sorry, it's just how it works. It's the game with the randomizer. I don't make the rules. Wait, can I break pots open with a nut? No, unfortunately not. There should be like a fairy in here. Ooh, some magic. Some arrows. And we might as well start breaking open these owl statues. God, when are we going to find the Song of Soaring, though? So I can start teleporting. I'm tired of having to run everywhere. Unfortunately for you guys, we have the magic of editing. So I'll see you in our next destination. So the first thing we're going to do is come back to Clock Town. Because we have quite a few things we can do here now that we've got some random items. We found some side quest items, like the Moon's Tear the room key, and the pendant of memories, which these all allow us to do quite a few things. Now, somebody brought up a really interesting idea because of the fact that we got the room key. The fact that we have this, but we got it from a different location. The room that we steal from that Goron. I wonder if he's there now, because I think the time we found it was at the time where he would have been staying in his room in the first place. So I'm going to go there first, because I wonder if we can find the Goron in his room. Like, when he goes inside that room, is he actually there? Oh, what the, who the hell is this? You're not Anju. She has a wonderful scarf, though. I'm sorry, a room is I already have a room key. I'll hold it up in the air, randomly, just to show it off. Okay. Moment of truth. Are we gonna find a Goron naked? I'm kind of into the idea. Wait, what the heck? I did not mean to use that. I think this is the room. It is. Is he in here? Oh, he's not. He probably like disappeared out of here whenever we found the room key in the chests. Yeah, I don't even I don't really know how the game logic works in that sense. But there's a regular chest in here for us. A woodfall temple compass. Don't even have those in the tracker to mark, but there's really no reason to mark this in the tracker anyways. What a ramshackle inn. 
Is this room first class? You can hear whoever's next door crying out loud. Well, whatever. We're staying for free, so we can't expect much. Alright, so this place is just your typical hotel, motel, holiday inn. So, no reason to stay. We have an adventure to get to. I feel like it's kind of weird that these girls don't even remember who you are because you reset time. It's really a thankless job in this game, saving the world, because every single time you do anything to help anybody, you just rewind time and everybody forgets anyways, so it's like the saddest Zelda game ever because of that. That's why whenever I play this game on my last three day cycle before I go fight Majora, I like to make the whole entire world good again. I like to like redo every single side quest of like one final time and help everybody one last time as much as I possibly can. So the world is as fixed as possible before I beat the game. <gasps> Green haired lady, she is just so shimmery. She's just shimmering left and right. That's not why I should just start standing, just like swaying my shoulders back and forth. Welcome! Do you have some business? The room on the left is the mayor's room. It sounds like they're having some sort of meeting, I think. Also, look at this cute little cab bobblehead on the desk. It's actually important for you to count all of these in Clocktown, because later there's like a trivia quiz you have to do with Keaton, and one of the questions he can ask is how many cow bobbleheads are in Clocktown. It's pretty- it's such a weird random thing to ask. Oh, but there's another one in here too. I guess those are Romani cows. So I'm not going to talk to the mayor right now because it's literally just them arguing about what they're going to do about the whole moon coming down. Like some of these guys are like, we got to evacuate. Some are like, we got to push through. It's a whole ordeal. But we're about to relieve the tension by talking to them with a couple's mask. Ah! 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 The couple's mask. What a nice reminder. So a young couple has been married. I wonder, did my wife flee? What? What did you just say? What are they selling? Chocolate? Yes, yes, everyone. We are all worried for our families. Why don't we end this meeting? But, Mr. Mayor, this will do. Whether you're stubborn and will stay and guard your family, or if you prefer to run far away and seek shelter, that is for our own people to decide on their own. Mm -mm. Alright, good for him. He stood up for himself, finally. Thank you for allowing me to put the end to all the pointless bickering. Adults are so stubborn, it is shameful. Here is a token of my gratitude. You don't have to tell me that twice. We got the circus leader's mask. This is a very interesting mask to receive, but I love it because the eyebrows are just so luxurious. Well, I may be an unreliable mayor, but at least my family can depend on me. I want to protect my wife. Good on you, sir. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we're his child. It makes sense, we have the same hair color. I'm pretty sure Madame Aroma is his wife, so we're the mayor's child. I forgot about that. What is that mask on his chair? Isn't that same mask on the mask salesman's backpack at one point? I'm almost certain that it is. I love the couple's mask. It's like such a cool looking mask. It's so shiny, and I don't fully know what it's supposed to represent. I don't know what the symbol on it is. <laughs> I thought the mask had eyebrows for a second, but that's just Cafe's hair poking through. Raffle. All right, now let's go give Bilbo Baggins his moons tier. He's been waiting for days to give his wife this. I love the rain in Clocktown on day two. It's just so peaceful. It's the one thing I miss about living in the Midwest is it raining. It barely rains out here in California, but I love the days where you can like wake up and you hear rain pattering against your window, and you just know that it's going to be the, just a chill day. Unless you have to go out and do stuff, and then you have to be sad because of how wet you're going to get during the day. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Sir, sir. I keep hearing about a stone called the Moon's Tear, and it's supposed to be the shiniest stone in the world. It's probably not as shiny as my mask, bro. But yes, I do have a Moon's Tear for you. I got it off of Taylor Swift's guitar. Ah, that stone. You must give it to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here, and I'll throw in this Deku flower, too. I don't want your stinky-ass Deku flower. I don't know how many times you farted in that thing. 20 rupees. That moon's tier had to be worth more than that. She hasn't seen a jewel or strange shiny stone like this in quite a long time. <laughs> the title deed for this spot will be in big demand by Deku Scrubs outside of town. You should be able to sell it to a Deku Scrub for a good price. The Deku Scrub housing market, eh? I'm sure that's an interesting job, being a realtor for Deku Scrubs. You're literally just... Is that the same as being a florist? <laughs> You're just selling flowers, practically. Alright, Bilbo Baggins. 
See you later, my dude. Safe travels. I hope your wife likes your gym. Alright, so we haven't gotten too many things that are helpful. So the, the circus leader's masks that we got earlier. I'm not sure if we can even do anything with this until we get the Romani mask. So you have to be able to get into the milk bar to use this. I, at least I believe. I might be wrong. But if I am wrong, I'll just like... I do like a lot of research in between episodes. <laughs> like, during the episodes, I kind of like go into them knowing what I know. And then as I find stuff during the episodes, I look up things so I can know a little bit more about what I'm talking about. But I think the next thing I want to do... And I just want to rip this bandaid off because I've been kind of scared to do this. Wait, why was it raining in Clock Town but not outside? I actually just now noticed that. What the hell? So just, there's not even any clouds in the sky above Clock Town. Why have I never realized that it doesn't rain in the whole entire overworld during day two? And just in Clock Town? That is so weird. Holy crap. My mind is being blown right now, guys. Alright, we're returning back to the Swamp Shooting Gallery. Let's just get it over with. I know this is going to be a pain, but for some reason I have a feeling that we're going to get a good prize from doing this. What the heck? What kind of animal is that? Why does he have a mount of an animal head on his wall that you don't even see in the game itself? What the heck? There's a freaking jaguar over here as well? This guy's a poacher. What's wrong with you, man? These are just innocent animals. You feel? Hey, mate. How are ya? Wanna play? One game's 20 rupees. Of course. Okay. Gonna have to focus a little bit more this time. The rules to my game are a piece of cake. Shoot for the targets from atop the platform. You gotta hit them all. That's all there is to it. If you don't aim proper with the control stick, you won't hit any of them. Are you ready, mate? Is this guy from Australia? <laughs> How come a guy in Trimina has an Australian accent? <laughs> I wonder, like, where he learned it from. Okay, can I get the small decky scrub? That small one in the back is, like, one of the hardest things to get. You have the whole entire game to hit it. You only need to hit it once, but it can be a bitch. Don't miss the don't miss the wolfos. You can't miss any of the wolfos, or else you automatically lose. All right, here come the burbs. Okay, during this game, I just changed my controller sensitivity, and I'm gonna lose because of it. But now my controller is like much better. I have much better control. Holy crap! Okay, I don't know if this is true, but I was told in the comments that I've been saying Cafe's name wrong this whole this whole entire let's play in which case would also be my whole entire life because i've all, always called him cafe apparently his name is actually pronounced cafe -y. the the i at the end is supposed to be kind of like hawaii i don't know i don't know if that's true or not but if that's true then you literally just shattered my whole entire world can i get some confirmation on this is his name really cafe -y? If that's the case i'm about to go cry myself to sleep tonight also i'm pretty sure i said in a previous episode that this Shooting gallery is a bit more difficult because the things were more randomized. But I'm pretty sure it's the same pattern each time with maybe a few slight variations. Because I think I'm noticing the same exact pattern. So I take that back. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. But what we got to do is we have to hit every single creature. Every Deku Scrub, every Wolfos, every Gwe, which is the Crows. You have the whole entire time limit to hit the two tiny Deku Scrubs up in the corners. And then the Wolfos, you can't miss any of those. And the Deku Scrubs on the ground... Those kind of control the speed of the rounds. It won't start the next round until you've killed all of those. To get the main prize, you have to shoot everything. And to get the double prize, you have to shoot everything and still have enough time left over to be able to get a score of around 2200, I believe. Okay, we have the opening. Let's go ahead and shoot this little guy. Even though I fixed the dead zone, it's still kind of hard to get it completely accurate. If you play on a Nintendo 64 controller, you have so much more control than what I have right now. Oh my gosh, come out! Hurry up! Holy crap. Freaking making me stress right now. Is that everything? Oh, there it is! Holy crap, we did it! Perfect! So here's the first prize. And I think to get the second prize, we have to do it with even a better score. An ocean title deed. Okay. That isn't a bad prize by any means. Not a good prize, but I wouldn't call it a bad prize either. It's just a prize. I tell your friends all about us, alright, mate? Okay, let's do it one more time and get the second prize. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty sure we got it. The shooting gallery isn't nearly as bad as the shooting gallery in the town. It's like a little bit more confusing because the pattern is more all over the place, but once you learn it, it's a lot easier. 
Well, that's pretty darn good, mate. Perfect. Here you go. Take this, mate. And the light arrows. What? Okay. That's actually really good. I'm pretty sure this is a bit overpowered. <laughs> I think you can shoot any enemy with these and they'll die instantly and give you rupees? I might be wrong about that. We can look into it. I right, tell your friends about us. All right, did you guys hear about the Swamp Shooting Gallery? It's pretty good. You can get some title deeds. You can get some light arrows. Not a bad deal. Not a bad deal whatsoever. I realize since we have this title deed, this goes to, since this is the ocean one, we got to take this to Iconic Canyon. So unless we can make it to Iconic Canyon in this three-day cycle, which would require the Garrow's Mask, I believe, we'll have to play the Swamp Shooting Gallery again to recollect it. Hopefully we'll find it, but if we'd have to replay the game, it's not even the hardest score to get. I'm pretty sure I could do it. It wouldn't be the worst situation to go through. All right, who better to test these light arrows on than this gigantic asshole over here? Will I kill him instantly? Okay, not instantly. He's so shiny, though. I wonder how many hits it would take. Might as well go ahead and kill him and get his rupees. Need 1,000 anyways to get a prize from the bank. Maybe I should save up for that. That looks so cool. All right, let's try it on the bubble real fast. I just want to see if it turns them into rupees. Oh, that gave us a purple rupee? Yeah, I think we can get a purple rupee for every enemy that we kill with light arrows. That is really good. Okay, we might as well just grind and get the 1,000 rupees in and take it to the bank, right? <laughs> Geronimo! Man down. All right, I think we have like 500 rupees. Let's go ahead and deposit these real quick. While we're traveling, let's talk about last episode's common question of the day, where I asked if you were to have your ashes when you're cremated turn into a vinyl record, which is a really weird common question of the day, but it makes sense with the context. What song would your vinyl record play? And here were my favorite responses. And there was one comment from Zelda Legend that said, I would play Attacking Toucan's theme. If he had one, funny story, I used to actually have a theme song for my channel and I introduced it for this Let's Play. And I'm going to show that to you guys in case you haven't seen it. So here's a blast from the past. I'm not sure why I stopped using that, but I think it's because nobody really has intros for their Let's Plays anymore, so I kind of just dropped it to get straight to the point for each video. Really? Are you depositing 497 rupees? What? You're really gonna give me that much? You're one rich little guy. All right, little guy. Now I've got a total of 583 rupees from you. What's this? You've already saved up 200 rupees? Well, let's take this. What did we get again? Oh, bloopy. Yeah, if you get any item a second time, it replaces it with a bloopy instead. So like almost anything, if any chest that we've collected already, unless it has rupees inside, like a red rupee, you'll get a red rupee. But if it's like a heart piece and you've already collected it, you'll get a bloopy in its place. I think for me, if you put my vinyl record onto a record player and press the play button, the song you would hear go is, well, Once upon a time not long ago I was a hoe. And I'm admitting it, I won't take it back because I did the shit. I was a hoe and now I'm admitting it. I won't take it back cause I did the shit. Uh, more money, I want your money. More money, I want your money. Yeah, that would be the song that my record would play. <laughs> you get just magic. Okay, this might be the magical grinding spot over by the Icona Canyon entrance. Or as I like to call it, the Iconic Canyon entrance because it's super iconic. I freaking love this place. Boom, bitch. That's 100 rupees. And they, do they respawn? Or is this just another one? If they respawn, then we're about to make way too much money. We don't even deserve this. Actually, we kind of do. Yeah, they do. Holy crap. This is the best thing ever. You know how a couple episodes ago I said that we're going to have to like kind of start off the three-day cycle a lot by going and getting the moons tier, which is the huge rupee? We're not going to have to do this. We're going to have so much money in the bank and literally, literally like infinite money just from finding the light arrows. They're a little bit overpowered in that way, but hey, getting items out of order is part of the randomizer and I deserve the rewards. I deserve this because I still don't even have a freaking sword, okay? What happened to the tree, dude? He's not here anymore. But if you roll into this tree, it's a really good deal. You get 40 freaking rupees. I'm trying to find some more magic so I can continue shooting the bubbles. 
and get it on my money. We're almost there. Actually, we only need to shoot like two more bubbles to have enough money, so we got enough magic. Alright, hey little guys. Ready to die? Of course you are. You're already dead. You're a skull. How are you even alive in the first place? How do you even fly? Your little wings are like a fraction of your whole entire body size. It's really impressive, not gonna lie. Do we need to kill another one? I think we have enough rupees, actually. Alright, let's go ahead and deposit these. Okay, it's kind of interesting to me. Since they stamp the amount of rupees that you've deposited to the bank on you, which first off, that seems like such a weird way to keep track of how much money that you've given to the bank. What if the stamp washes off? Do you lose all your money in the bank? But realistically, whenever we go back in time, the money that we deposited into the bank all disappears. So when we withdraw money after a three-day cycle, the money that we deposited into the bank isn't there anymore, so we're actually taking other people's money and making the bank go at a deficit. It's kind of sad. <laughs> Ruining the economy of Termina. One transaction at a time. It makes me curious. Just speaking of, like, the economics of Termina, I wonder what form of government Termina has. Like, I wonder if it's capitalist or if it's... I'm guessing it's a democracy since they have a mayor. Doesn't seem like the mayor is, like, some sort of supreme ruler by any means. I don't know, that could be today's comment question of the day. What type of government do you think Termina has? Let's see how unique you guys can get in the comments. 474. You betcha. 1,057 rupees in the bank. What's this? You've already saved up 5,000 rupees? Um, no, I haven't. <laughs> well, little guy, I can't take any more deposits. Sorry, but this is all I can give you. Piece of heart? Okay. I'll take it, I'll take it. All right. There's one more thing I want to do before we end this episode, and it's one of the funniest side quests of the whole entire game. I would say now is actually the perfect time to do it, because we have some paper, and we also have a room key, so we're able to get into the stockpot in right now, during the night time. Normally you can't get in here during the night time unless you have the room key. Well, you technically you can, because there's a Deku Scrub flower outside, and you can shoot up to the top balcony and get inside, but we don't have the Deku Scrub flower, so we wouldn't be able to do that. But I want to take advantage of the situation that we currently have when we come downstairs. At around 12 p.m., if we go to the bathroom in the stockpot inn, we will meet a very interesting friend. We have to wait a few more seconds. But yeah, this is the bathroom, which is like one of the only bathrooms I think is in a Zelda game. I think this bathroom and the one in Skyward Sword and the Academy are like the only two bathrooms that I can think of. Alright, you ready for it? <laughs> There's a hand in the toilet. What the heck? And look at those fingernails. Ugh. I wanted to do C up. Ugh. Why are his fingernails so black? He has like poop all the way underneath them. That's so nasty. Up, 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 paper, please. So we're going to give him the only paper we have, which is the title deed. It's going to wipe his butt with real estate. Yeah. Oh, you saved me. This fell down here. No, I don't want it. I don't want whatever you have down there. Gross. I don't want this stone tower temple key. Actually kind of sucks that that's in here. I guess this isn't that bad. It's better than it's better than this key being behind the swamp shooting gallery or clock town shooting gallery. I'm not going to complain. All right. Well, with that, I'm going to probably call that an episode here. And also, since we have all our rupees deposited into the bank and since we don't really have any items that are worth holding on to during a three day cycle, I'm going to go ahead and play the Song of Time here and restart the three-day cycle, and we'll have another fresh start tomorrow because there's some stuff that I want to do on day one that I wasn't able to do the first time, and there's not really anything on day three to look forward to. So we're going to go ahead and play it and restart fresh. And I'm also doing this because I don't have any Deku sticks to open up the Owl Statue and Clock Town to save, so just so I can save, I'm going to play the Song of Time. Hopefully next episode we'll get the sword and be able to save. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash that thumbs up button, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.